No day starts without coffee. So we went to the family mart and they gave us this thing, a cup full of ice. Take this off. Oh, put it in the vending machine here. And then you just push ice cafe latte. And let's see what happens. Cafe latte. Good morning. Today we are in Takayama. We have our first full day here. And there's a bunch of like little street food spots that are along the main like old area of the town. It's like an Edo period area of the town. So we're walking there right now and we hope that they'll all be open, but it is after two o'clock right now and a lot of places close between two and five-ish. So if they're not open today, we'll do that a different day. And then we'll just show you what it looks like because it should be super, super, super beautiful and like super traditional looking Japanese. So we're really excited to see it. So this is like a toy that Japanese moms would give their daughters and it was supposed to be a symbol of like happiness and good luck. And then the way that you do it is like the girl would like touch that part of the body that she wanted to be blessed with. So like, say if she wanted to be blessed with her hands, she would touch the hands. Or like if she wanted to have beautiful hair, she would touch her hair. It's called a sarubobo. Takayama are unlike any other place I've been to in my whole entire life. This is what I was imagining when we said we were going to go to Japan. In Tokyo, it's just so busy. Every corner you turn, you can't ever find a street to yourself. Whereas here in Takayama, I feel like with every single street, it's just like another story, another picture. So much inspiration here to take so many pictures and like, it's just an overall beautiful place. We've only been here for a day but I am so excited to see what the next three days have in store for us. Me too. <laughs> it's a rice ball. It's a rice ball. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce? Yeah. It looks very good. Is this, is this your mom? Mama. Your mom? Mama. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's been running this store. Oh. So nice. Are they good? Delicious. I'm gonna have two. This is the first thing we ate all day. This is so good, Ruthie. You have to try it. It has like, it's just like gooey rice with some soy sauce and fried. It's incredible. And this is Hammer. He's got long legs. Right? That's me. Uh, by the way, did you know that there's free Wi-Fi in Takayama? I'm connected to Wi-Fi right here. Oh my god. Hammer's the best fiance in the world and he's getting me. High, uh, high quality. quality, high quality matcha ice cream, right? High quality, because I have a high quality girl. High quality, man. High quality, <laughs> arigato gozaimasu. I don't like matcha. I know, but you might like this. It's All really right, let's good. let's see. High quality matcha. Actually, it's a lot better yeah. than normal matcha. The other <laughs> matcha is like way too dense of like tea flavor. This is like ice cream and tea flavor. This is very high quality. Very good. Arigato mm. Wow, very good. Okay, so all of these are actually rice cake. This looks exactly like beef, but it's not beef. <laughs> it's rice cake. So we'll see how close it is to beef. It's it's grilled rice cake. Sauce that looks really good. Oh, it's incredible. Mm. Arigato. This is a good cone too. It's like a real quality cone as well. I'm gonna be the ultimate salesperson for this guy. Tell me this does not look like meat, straight up. It kind of tastes like it too. I can't believe this is rice. This is how you go vegetarian. Ruthie, have some rice with your ice cream. You love rice. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like beef, but it tastes really good. So like. If you're expecting beef, you're not gonna get it, but it's really good. But it doesn't taste like rice, though. Mm-mm. Because it's like, there's a lot of flavor in here. Wait, put your head behind. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. So this is 
um, a, like fried Hida beef cutlet, and then this is Hida Hida beef skewer. Hida beef is really, really popular here. It's like a super high quality beef, um, ranked like A4, A5. I don't really know what beef rankings mean, but Hida beef is super popular here. Yeah, I never eat it. Oh, and when we came here, like everything we've been reading is like, oh, you have to get Hida beef. You have to get Hida beef. So I'm going to try this first and then we'll get like the cutlet. Hida beef. It looks so juicy and tender. Oh my God. It was really good beef. I'm looking at Hammer because he loves meat. He's going to die when he tastes this. I might just give him the whole thing because I know he's going to love it so much. Okay, this is Hammer's <laughs> try. About to be in heaven. Whoa. Surprising, right? Oh my god. First of all, for anybody who has beef that is um, well done, you're a crazy man. It's medium rare. It's very juicy, very tender. It has these spices. I can't really define what spices they are. It's like really subtle. It's not yeah, like it's, it's like super overly subtle, spiced. And yeah. I love it. Mm. Mm. I'm going to get this the whole time while we're here. Yeah, we get another one. This is my jam right here. So good. Full okay. crunch to the mm. max. <laughs> Super crunchy. This is my favorite thing. It's not my favorite thing that we've oh, gotten. Oh, you have seaweed on it. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite thing that we've gotten, but it still tastes very good. We just stopped inside the sit down place. So far, the food here has surpassed my expectations like by miles. We just stopped and we ordered Hida beef steamed buns. Look at this little bun of heaven. Mm. It comes with beef and vegetables on the inside. Oh my God. It's really good. I love this place. <laughs> Try this. Mm. It's not delicious. Mm. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Mm -hmm. The bun is so light and fluffy. The vegetables go so well with the beef. This is amazing. Bags are packed. We're going to the Japanese Alps. <laughs> After a long and beautiful ride, we're finally here. I'm gonna need to chug a lot of coffee before we get going. Ruthie's gonna find the bathroom and then we're gonna find the trails. We're, today we're at Mount Norikura and this is where we are now, inside the bus terminal, like restaurants and stuff. We're gonna take the sixth trail, which is the Mount Kengamin course. It's about three hours for a round trip. It's serious mountain climbing. And then four and five are slow climbs, and one through three are relaxing strolls. So we're gonna take number six and go all the way up to the top. It's over 3,000 meters at the top, but it's supposed to be one of the easiest 3,000 meter hike. And this is the tallest one in the region. Highest bus stop in all of Japan. I legit wear these same pants every time I go hiking, and it's been the same for the past like five years. These pants have been doing well. Even before we left, you always wear the same pants. Yeah. <laughs> completely forgot about you guys, but it's absolutely beautiful on this hike. We're nearing the summit, actually. The summit's like up there. Whoop! We go around, and the views are beautiful. What beautiful views you may find in the Japanese Alps. Beautiful pond. Mr. Pond. There's still ice in some places. I'm pondering about ponds. There's the top, they have a shrine up there. How much further do you think it is? Maybe 10 minutes. Yeah. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yay! <laughs> you should hold the one, one with the sign. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful up here. It's so peaceful. There's a shrine, and then there's a sign where you can take a picture in front of to show that you made it to the top. And everybody's so nice here. And there's clouds. So beautiful. Uh, I said the clouds are rolling in. There's like this wooden boardwalk that's like right over there, and if you go this way, then you'll get to like this like flower, flower and fauna field. But we'll see what the clouds look like once we actually get down there to see if we actually want to go there. Got the hammer. He's taking his time. I'm taking my time because I need to poop. <laughs> really? I have to pee. And also we could just use the restrooms down there because if you look, yeah, there's no, there's like, there's probably some if you get a little closer, but honestly, I'm more about the mountain life than the flowers life. So. I'm more about the poop life. This guy has to go number two. Go plants. This one's called hammer plant. It's like a purple. That building has a very cool shape. So Hammer's taking a photo. It's the Hammer plant. Oh. <laughs> Feet. Feet. <laughs> Inside. Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Small inside, feet, big outside, feet, small inside, feet, big feet, small feet, big feet. Got you. 